Margarita, you can't go. Look at that. Have fun, that's the main thing. If everyone remembers when Margarita first got on Long Reef, the bag's just about as big as this. Get out! Well, I watched Margarita go until she was a distant dot on the horizon. The emotions swelling up inside me. If you notice Margarita, from her perspective, she waved once and then I was gone. That's a bit like Margarita. She can be a tough little fierce woman. Got lots of love, but I tell you what, she's fierce. So it's a sad time for the next two months. Margarita's going to be away earning some money in Portugal. I already miss her dearly and it's only been a few days. But we've got to do what we've got to do. We've got a lot on in Colombia. We've got, um, we've got to haul out the boat and going to fix a lot of gear, replace a lot of gear. And um, that's what we've got to do. Uh, I'm, uh, on my part, I'm going to do some illegal charters. Although uh, I woke up this morning and the battery was at 10.6 volts. I put on the uh, fridge last night just to test it and clearly my batteries cannot deal with it. So the chances of me getting anyone to come on this boat is going to be close to zero. If you notice I'm surrounded by bees, um, I let them <laughs> fly in the boat. Marguerite doesn't like bees so much. Every time I open up a pineapple, they swarm around it and they suck all the juices and I'm getting them landing, or oh, they're landing on me right now. Um, Got to look after our bees, people, and don't feed them sugar. If you're going to feed them anything, feed them fruit and honey, okay? Um, without bees, we'd all be stuffed. So sit back and watch the next series of videos. Basically, it's only going to be me by myself. Yes, it's only going to be watched by probably 2,000 people or less. Hey, I'm surprised it's more than 50. So sit back and enjoy. We probably only got an hour before this storm overtakes us, so we better get cracking. is great but it was a female with all the frilly bits underneath. It didn't have eggs but I don't take the female. But she wasn't safe from the snappers there until I chased her back into a hole. The trouble is she was not taking any of my advice. Now there's a surprise. She's close to that hole now so she's sweet. This poor shark has about 10 metres of fishing line attached to it, no doubt to a hook as well. I didn't know what to do with this one. I mean, what can I do? Bugger. Enough sightseeing, time for action.
one is way too big. Much smaller one out back. A bit of a swim back to the boat. And then this small shark turned up. Not aggressive, he just smells lunch. Obviously I didn't brain it properly. Now that we have dinner, time for some sightseeing. Sneaking up on fish. Can you see the grouper here? It would be so, so easy. And this is a cubera, another snapper. Pretend shot before it leaves, check. Dog snapper? I don't know. A bit sleepy or a bit dopey? Probably both. Definitely getting publisher. Oh bugger this. I gotta go. back in plenty of time. I reckon I had another half hour. Pussy. I hear a bit of thunder. I can't see it. That should be good. Lightning conductor is down. Now to get out from being in the open. A 
Laguna was blown apart by lightning around here not so long ago while sitting in his damn canoe. What a way to go! I think we got a hole in the kite. Yeah. Anyway, it's not looking that good. I need some coconut for breakfast. Let's go find one on the ground. It's a dead tree. It's been fried by lightning. Ha ha! Move over, Daniel Boone. Mind you, don't ask me to do this again. I'll probably throw it backwards. Bloody good. I think we got something. Even clearer over there in the wetter sand. Look at the size of that. That is bigger than my hand. So we know there's a three meter one, maybe that's a three meter size foot. So let's go try and find it. Now I've got half a K to walk in water up to my knees. I was just thinking about that then. Hopefully the croc is on the other side of the island. I've got my axe. All right, let's do it. Are the crocodiles or lightning? Starting to creep over. I don't have long. This is, looks like a culo de pollo, asshole of the chicken. So it should be on the boat because it can blow up to 40 knots. Well, it can blow up to 60 knots. That's the biggest one they've had. It lasted for two hours and destroyed Linden Bay. Uh, but usually, I mean, we've only had, I think it hit 30 once or maybe 33. It's really just a doddle. So far, no sign of cracks. That's okay. With my newfound Daniel Boone skills, I'm sure to throw it. It'll go up, hit me in the head, knock me out. I won't feel anything when it eats me. There we go. Solution. Yeah, this. This is about a hundred meters from the closest mangrove. That's amazing. Dad, I'm moving out. You can't stop me. I want to have a love of my own. Leave me alone. You're too judgmental. Sorry, was that out loud? All right. I'm walking into the sun. I can't see anything until it's about six meters away. I hope there's not a croc underneath it. Ooh. I mean, if you're a smart croc, you'd go, this guy's gotta go back to this boat. I'm just gonna hang here. Anyway, no dilly dallying. That wasn't too bad at all. We're in for a storm now. Gotta get back. I hate being the highest point within 200 meters. I mean, my hair's crazy enough. Jesus, imagine what happened if lightning hit it. Far out!
along, it would be even worse. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to have to be very careful because I'm commencing Operation Crotch Watch. I mean, Crotch Watch. Oh shit, no one would be interested in that.